Lee, yo, what it be, yo? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time for the remix. Yes, indeed, to let you know what the mid month energy is for you for the month of August the 15th through the 34th. Ah, through the 31st. Shout out to every last one of you who clicked this video. Thank you so much for the love, light, and support. If there's anyone who would like to book a personal or private reading for me and with me, um, my booking page is a technical error going on with it so right now only thing you need to do if you want to book with me just send me a message on instagram and or you can use my email at google hangouts all right you can use the app google hangouts and you can use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com again that's scorpionreds at gmail.com or you can send me a message on instagram my um booking page is still up so you can check the menu out to see what type of readings i have and the cost and just contact me and then i'll set up the payment and then we can have the uh you know reading that day you know if you're ready so just let me know so if there's anyone at any point in time that this video resonates, um, the first way that you can support, number one, is by clicking that like button. Um, if this video resonates, of course, subscribe and share if you care. And um, if the spirit moves you, if you want to um, do something a little bit more, you can always support. I have my Cash App, my PayPal, as well as my Amazon wish list. And let me give a big shout out to everyone who's been sending support through the um, Amazon wish list as well as the Cash App and the PayPal because we do have a new deck here. This is the Musical Oracle deck, which is really, really cool. And as you can see, we will be getting some musical guidance from some of our greats here. And we will be figuring out what the beat is of our drum this mid-August, okay? So thank you guys again for all the love, light, and um, support. Let's get into the energy. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here with my beautiful, beautiful Leos. Thank you so much for all the love, light, and the positive energy, Father God. You know, it's winding down. The, 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 listen, we winding down. I know I said in fall, we're going to have it all, Father God. We done went through a lot of transitions. We done went through a lot of change. We done triumphed. We standing up victorious, our head high, chest out, feeling tall and, you know, really feeling spiritually guided and feeling spiritually divine father god thank you so much for uplifting us and keeping us elevating higher and soaring and soaring as far as our eye can see father god thank you so much for having the vision for us way greater than we could have ever pictured for ourselves father god our steps have been ordered and we've been walking in that journey and then that luxury of that vision that you have for us father god and i thank you every day all of us thank you every day for you just you know seeing something in us to pick us to you know be able to do what we're doing and go where we're going father god we thank you so much for just having you know your hand over us at all time father god please give us guidance for my leos for mid-august the 15th through the 30th um the 31st um please continue to bless us and thank you again for all of the blessings in the past present and future father god um give us guidance for my leos thank you again all righty all right all right all right all right all right Let's see what's cracking. All right. Got it for my Leos. Let's see what it be with my Leos, baby. And when we get to the love portion, we will be finding out what's going on with our couples versus our singles this month, you guys. So, yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Let's see what comes out right here in the general energy. Give me guidance with type of tune to be flowing to. Ooh, okay, Prince and Miles Davis, all right. We got two messages. Let's see what Prince got to say. Okay. All right. Prince says, do what you damn well like, but always do it to the utmost. Now, ain't that some Leo shit? <laughs> Look, do what you damn well like, but you better do it to the utmost, okay? You better do it with some flavor. It says, never lose touch with your colorful side. Your dream home lies outside of time, okay? Okay, I am reloaded. Load up the gap, okay? Do what you got, damn please, but you better do it to the utmost and make sure that you put them. Never lose touch with your colorful side. Your dream home 
lies outside of time. Baby, I feel like this is freedom to just, just bust out and just do what you want to do. Do what you fuck you want to do. Come on, damn it. <laughs> say what the fuck you want to say. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Miles Davis, baby. It says, play like you don't know how. Progress is impossible without shock. The keynotes are those left unplayed. Mm, okay. Play like you don't know how. Okay, the key notes is the ones. Oh, you know what? I feel like that man, baby. Ooh. That was all some sinister, some sinister uh smooth pimping right there. Hold on, that was some smooth pimping. I was okay, listen. Look, 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 sheepa baby, sheepa baby. You hear me? This nigga said, play like you don't know how. And let's mix this up with the do what, do what you damn well like, but always do it to the utmost. In, or, in order to do that, sometimes you got to play like you don't know how to play. You understand? Because I feel like everybody don't need to know every step. that You, you know what I'm saying? Because it says the key notes are those that are left unplayed. Do you understand what I'm saying? You can't be throwing your key notes out there. Motherfuckers can't know your key pieces. You understand? Because progress is impossible without shock. You got to hold the good shit back. So when it look, it was time to reload the gats, bow, bust off all them niggas. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Because them niggas thought that you ain't know what you was doing. You understand what I'm saying? But you are, they, look, 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 look. they ain't even know. They ain't even know how we was about to go. Because, baby, we going to do what the hell we damn well please, and we gonna do it to the utmost. You ain't gotta know all my moves. You ain't gotta see all my notes on how I play and how I do what I gotta do. Just know I ain't never gonna lose touch with who I am. That's why they said don't lose touch to that colorful side, okay? And the dream home lies outside of time. Don't let nobody put no limitations on you. Because the key notes are the ones that are left unplayed. Huh? Honey, if it's Sheba, baby, Sheba, baby, oh, oh. come on, Sheba, baby, Sheba, baby, did they not just put down some smooth goddamn pimping down on us, hold on, load up the gat, hold up, hold on, oh, <laughs> oh, I'm reloading, Lord. Come tell me again. Come, come. Give me guidance about what's going on with my Leos. What? <laughs> you can't even bust it down. Bust it down on us like that? <laughs> oh, I am too excited. Are you not entertained? I am. Look, off them two cards. Y'all just did me, baby. Come on, spirits. We ready to hear it. Give me guidance. Leos, mid my August. The world in the verse. Mm. We got to hold on. It's something we forgot. Mm -hmm. So before we go forward, we gonna have to take a step back. Make sure that we look in that closet. Make sure that we ain't left nothing behind or something like that. Or, you know, that we ain't forget to put something in the mail. Or maybe you forgot to do your forward in the dress because you don't want your new shit going to the old shit. So maybe that's what you need to do. You need to go back to, you know... The U.S. Postal Service. Make sure that you got all your shit up out of wherever you was moving from. Make sure that you put your forward in the dress. Because you don't want nothing going back to the old. We going into the new. So I feel like it's something. It's something. What's this? Ooh, the love is in reverse. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right. It's something that you need to clean up in the past before we can move forward. Yeah. There go Leo. There go Leo. I feel like you guys still got an attachment. There's still an attachment somewhere. It did, look, you see how that snake done hopped on and attached to your motherfucking ass? Yeah, you went and picked up them jewelries, but that snake hopped up from up, up under that cup, and you ain't know it was something else up under that cup that done hopped on your ass. It's still, 
it's still something ever you attached to it or this shit is still attached to you and it's like you got a lot of other shit being offered to you but it's like you can't attend this is the emperor in reverse no one likes the emperor in reverse okay because the emperor in reverse is someone that's being irresponsible and not necessarily trying to take responsibility for the actions and the confusion that they might have caused. I feel like it's somebody that is a broken, it has a broken heart right now because Leo has other options. And Leo went for the fortune and gold. You see what I'm saying? Leo grabbed the fortune and the gold and the diamonds and the, and the rubies, but that snake leaped out and said hold on <laughs> where you think you going where the hell you think you going so you got something you tried to go for something more fortunate something that was better for you or, or leo thought and something else attached itself to leo and leo is not really trying to I feel like Leo was flirting with danger or flirting with something that they know that they shouldn't have been, you know what I'm saying? Like Leo knew better. And it's like Leo's not really trying to take the responsibility. And it's like Leo might possibly be trying to run off in search of a new journey somewhere else. But it's like they can't because they have to deal with this. And... Hmm... What is this? The strength? Yeah, I, Leo doesn't have the strength to look back and address it. And it's like, it's like I want to do what the fuck I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they want to, they want to do what they damn well please, and they want to do it to the utmost. They just want to move forward and just like work on their own self and focus on building things in the future. Like Leo does not really want to go back and deal with whatever this is that is left in the past. And it's like, I feel like Leo's sorry that this person is heartbroken and, and, and the, it just didn't work out. But it's like, you can't keep trying to attach yourself to me because you know I'm not going to, I don't have the strength to be what it is that you want me to be and everything like that. I'm trying to focus on what I'm focusing on, focusing on my future, and I feel like Leo is focused on fortune and fame and just, just other things and really trying to close this chapter and this door, and somebody isn't letting them. Like, this could possibly be someone that's like an ex-wife with this emperor, because the emperor is typically a married man, so this could be someone that they're um, divorced, and, like, Leo is trying to move forward and they don't want to deal with the broken heart stuff. It's like... <laughs> like, I'm playing like I don't know how right now. It's like, I, I just... Like, I don't know how to to help to, to mend your heart. I just I just don't know how. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how. Give me, give me guidance about this lovers in this world in reverse. Yeah, here go Prince again. Here go Prince again. It's like, he just wants to do what he wants. He wants to live outside of the box. I feel like this is probably someone who was married for a very, very long time. And this might be someone that's going through a midlife crisis or something. They want to be young again. They, um, and, 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 and you got to understand, like, the jack of hearts is someone that is still a little bit, uh indecisive in regards to what they want in love because right now they they feel good they look good you know i feel like they change they look they change their style like they're a little bit more in touch with their sensitive sides and things like that and the eight of spades I, oh my goodness what does the eight of spades mean the eight of spades i feel like this is someone i mean and you already you already know who is this, uh, Kurt Cobain. Again, I, I, I feel like this is someone that is just like, 
doesn't really want to i feel like someone's going through like a midlife crisis or something like that like i feel like this person is staying up possibly partying um I really do hope that they're not like I, I I don't think that anyone is doing any hard drugs or anything like that. I just definitely feel like someone has probably been going out like probably dancing a lot and not getting enough sleep and I really do feel like this person just wants to feel young again and this person does have a lot of lovers like this person is dating and just like. They might need to slow down and watch out. Um, I, I, I kind of feel like this is the bad health card a little bit. I feel like this is the bad health card. So whoever this is might need to slow down because I feel like even though that they're going through some like little midlife crisis, they're trying to be a little pay, playboy, little whatever, you know, it's going to catch up to you. So you might need, you might want to watch that. Um, Cause this man really feel like they don't have to make a decision in regards to love like what is this and this is the seven of spades yeah this is the tower card right here this is a tower card so i definitely feel like whoever this was that was dealing with this person i don't think that they seen this coming this like this breakdown of emotion, like this person just venturing out and just popping off and just like, man, I don't, I, I don't want to divorce. I don't really want to do this anymore. I got other shit that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to move forward. I'm about to, I feel like someone might have um, possibly relocated for a job. You know what I'm saying? Like they're for a construction job or they might uh, drive trucks or some shit like that or, um, Someone might have went in a in an arm in a, in an army or some shit like that. I'm seeing it too. Like someone's just like moved for like their career or something like that because they didn't have the strength to work on things. Oh, and then here goes the divine feminine, the Joker card. So I definitely feel like I feel like this person just moved on in faith. Yeah, and then the six of with this Otis Redding, with this six of uh, clubs here, I feel like this person might have fell in love with someone at work. Yeah, yeah. And a little Richard. I feel like this person fell in love with someone at work, and then that's what really started the breakdown of... Yeah, it was it was lovers. It was lovers. And I feel like this person maybe just didn't either this person is still in the home with you guys and let's find out. Either this person is like still in the home with you guys and this person has options. They have something else that attach themselves to this emperor. Um I heard an Aries. I feel like there's somebody else that, I mean, you know, the lover's card, that's a Gemini. Um, the world, that's any fixed sign. Of course, that's Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and I believe, what is that, Virgo? Um, yeah, hold on, okay. I feel like it's either this emperor then had a heart to tell you that they moved on to better options and also they're moving and they they relocating for work yeah the ship yeah the ship is sailing yeah this person is most definitely relocated like this person is relocate relocated for work they wanted to like they wanted a new start like they just didn't have the strength to put into what they had here is just like the love faded like this person like really kind of had like a midlife crisis or some shit like that and just like what is this here the tree yeah i feel like there was a lot of it was like something unfulfilled here with this person felt like they were being controlled and weren't able to be them and that's why they took this decision and they went ahead and 
moved on. They wanted to explore something different and they traveled for work. Yeah, they wanted to be, be, be reborn. They wanted to be born again. They're out there trying to catch butterflies, new beginnings. Like, they're number 13. That's the death card to me. And then the jack of spades right there as well on that death card. So that, that's somebody that is like by, by, by force. Like they had to, you know, that's like the enforcer. That's like, you know, by force, I'm taking my innocence back. You know what I'm saying? I don't want someone to control me. I want to be able to branch off and grow by myself to seclude myself to get my thoughts together to Someone needed to, it's like they needed like a spiritual vacation. Like they needed to grow spiritually, but they had to do it on their own. They didn't need anybody around them because they had to get their mind together. And it was for them, for their health, for their physical well-being. You understand what I'm saying? The moon, like their intuition. It was like they, these people had to go, whoever this was, had to break free. Like it says, Never lose touch with your colorful side. Your dream home lies outside of time. It's like they felt restricted. They felt bounded. And it's like, I want to go somewhere where don't nobody know me. And I could play like I don't know how to play. You know what I'm saying? Where the best that I have in me, I haven't even exposed it to the world yet. You know, progress is impossible without shock. I'm ready to shock the world. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, they needed to close these cycles. They were tired of being restricted in that cocoon. They were ready to bust out and be this butterfly and fly. And, and you know what I'm saying? They just didn't have the strength to be what you wanted them to be and to be this. That was, It wasn't them. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't them. It wasn't them. Yeah, the locket. Like, I feel like all, all of the what there truly was, everything that they had inside was just confined in this locket like they were holding the truth of everything that they are inside of them now they're ready for all of that shit just just burst open you know what i'm saying they want all of that joy all of that you know tenderness the affection just everything that they love their art everything to just pour out they don't want to keep it confined anymore the clover do you understand what i'm saying they feel blessed they feel lucky and I, I'm glad that these people, whoever this is, moved. And then I, I, I and I have to say this, like, I, I, I'm i kind of getting the feeling like someone might be coming out. You know what I'm saying? I am getting that a little bit. I don't know why I've been kind of getting that a lot. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's something about these this, these music cards. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm really getting that in a big way. But um, it don't necessarily have to do with that. But then also there are a lot of people from the LGBT community that watch me. So if that part of it doesn't resonate with you, of course, you know, only take what resonates. But I really do feel like... Um, that there could have been someone, that there might have been a love affair with someone at work. Okay? There's definitely that there. Okay? It's definitely there. And then, um, I definitely feel like there's someone that is moving on for work. Change. This change in reverse. This is like the Hierophant. So, it's like... I f they were... Consciousness. This is consciousness in reverse. Okay, so... This person had to make a conscious decision that they couldn't... I can't hold myself in and try to live up to people's standard of who they think I should be, where I should work, who I should date, what type, just like how I should dress. No, I just feel like they were living in this, this dark space of just unconsciousness flowering in reverse. Like people were holding them back and they act like 
for a long time that they weren't conscious of the fact that they were so much more than well I feel like this has something to do with some type of religious like maybe someone has like an extreme religious background or like a, a, a mother or a father that this could even be someone that their father wanted them to live up to the standards of being some type of like football star or athlete or some shit but that wasn't this person's dream this person wants to be a rock and roller you know what i'm saying and it's like this person wants to do their music and they, they they're tired of trying to live up to the standard of living of what their parents want them to do they don't love that you understand what i'm saying and it's like they're trying so hard to close this chapter and go on and, and be what they want to be they want to be a rock star you know what i'm saying but they don't know how to face their father so i feel like they they might just fuck around and just hop up and just pack all their shit and move to somewhere where they can grow and get some peace of mind and start all over again and just really follow their you know close that cycle and, and follow their intuition and, and and bust open and be who they love and only have to, you know what I'm saying, balance their self and their spiritual mind and their state of consciousness. You understand what I'm saying? Who they know, who the fuck they are. And they don't want to listen to what nobody is telling them or what they should do. They want to do their own thing. Like, y'all can't control me. Do you understand? You, you're holding me back from me being who it is that I truly am and what I want to be. Do you understand? I need to live in color. Again, you see all of those beautiful colors? This person is not able to live in color. Just like Prince said, you know? And it's like, the keynotes are the ones that are left unplayed. And I feel like this person is really going to move somewhere else. And they're going to focus on their music or whatever it is. And they're going to fuck around and be a fucking superstar for real. Like on some real ass fucking shit. Oh, I didn't even clarify those cards up there, y'all. Any more guidance from this set? Yeah, celebration. They're not able to. I really do feel like, like, I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like I really feel like I want to cry. Like, this person is being held back. I feel, I feel like someone's crying. Like, they're crying. It's like, you're right. No, I'm dead ass serious because it's like, I don't want to live here anymore with these people. Like, they don't understand me. They don't believe in my dreams. They try to tell me I'm stupid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not making conscious decisions. No, y'all are stupid. I'm tired of... I'm tired of y'all motherfuckers. Just leave me the fuck alone. Like, it's just like, leave me the fuck alone. Like, I don't want y'all in my business. I don't want to talk to y'all. Like, I just don't want this little postponement. Do you understand? You see, they're not able to live in color. This fucking Leo likes to color the whole picture. They don't just want this little section color. This shit looks dry to them. Do you see? It's only like a little part of them. They need everything. They need to see and live in vibrant living color. This is Leo. Do you hear me? This is Leo. And this could even be someone that is pregnant or expecting or just wants to have children. You know what I'm saying? And like, I don't want to raise my kids in this environment. I don't want to raise my uh, uh, raise my child or have a child with a motherfucker that's not responsible and don't want to take responsibility for shit and don't want to fucking change and act like they're completely clueless about the stress that they're putting on me and they don't want to take responsibility for this third party relationship and shit. I just. I need to get the fuck away. I feel like this is someone that just needs to really take a vacation, like a voyage, and just need to get the fuck away so they can just get their fucking mind together and just get away from these people. Like, I'm really... Because it's like, I don't have the strength to do this with y'all no more. And y'all are trying to hold my world back. Y'all trying not... No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Innocence. Do you see me? This person wants to take their innocence back. It's my life. It's my motherfucking life. My life. Hmm. 
real quick. Let me lift that up real quick. Oof. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, the sun. Hmm. Morality. Burden. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel like this might be somebody trying to come out. I feel like this might be, even if it is, this is someone that's young. I feel like, again, a son with that rebirth. It's a young grasshopper. Young, that's, that's why I had to, because I wanted to say young grasshopper. I feel like this is spirit, like talking to this young person. You've lived to the standard of this moral confinement. You see, confined, confined. You see this moral? They've lived to the structure and this moral principle for a long time, young grasshopper. It's time for you to move away. This has been a burden. This is the Six of Swords. This has been a burden. Isn't she pointing to you trying to live in this moral prison? That's been the burden of your life. It's time for you to move away. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I just want to clarify some of these cards up here real quick because um, I just want to clarify these spade cards. So the eight of spades, the eight of spades is traditionally a disappointment, a uh, card of disappointment, illness, physical restrictions, yeah, loss of balance, lack of reciprocation, unrequited love, something one-sided, not mutually beneficial, physical imbalance, health problems, mental imbalance, a doctor, a dentist, a psychiatrist, a wound, a pain, insult, feeling slighted, snubbed, hurt feelings, emotional upset, reassessing one's goals, examining one's accomplishment, investigating or researching a question or problem, a medical exam, a civil service exam, a scholastic exam, a forensic exam, a police investigation. I really do feel like there, this could be a possibility that some of y'all like did some type of test or some shit on the low and might have enlisted yourself in the army and just like dip or some shit. It's like something with y'all job. I, whatever the fuck this is in y'all house, y'all are like controlled by like a very religious upbringing or something where you're just not able to just be yourself and it's like I don't want to do this shit I want to sing secular music or I want to do this I want to be an artist and they're like you can't be no fucking artist you need to work and do this and you just like no I ha you know what I'm saying it's just like I don't believe in what you believe the seven in space this is a tower card traditionally a card of bad luck loss unhappy um, and an unexpected trouble, a mishap, an unexpected um, surprise, serious setback, a reversal of plans, frustration, lack of progress, a stalemate, stagnation, drug addiction, uh, drug abuse, medications, alcohol, codependency, a codependent relationship, a cocktail, a nightclub, a bar, or a saloon. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I said it drive, drives me to drink and drink and smoke and write music. It's like they're depressed. The nine of spades. Nine of spades, traditionally a card of sadness, adversity, failure, suffering, emotional and physical pain, grief, malice, a very unfavorable card, and four bodies tragic exempt events including accidents, serious injury, um, sometimes self-injury, harm to oneself or harm to another, um, feeling pressure or forced to do something. It can indicate a loss of control, a breakdown of established patterns. It could represent disappointments or broken heart, karmic debts, obligations, duty to self and to others. 
Mm -mm -mm. I definitely feel like this could be also um, a man that just like walked away from their family and like I said, I feel like this is someone just what, what, those jobs where the guys drive those big tractor trailers or something like that, like took like a driving job or some job where a construction job or something where they're gone, where they had to like leave or something and just like, they're like, I, like this was for the best. I gotta, like, this is for our best. Like I gotta do this. Uh, but it's really because the, there's no more love at home and, and like this person doesn't know how to tell the woman. So anyway, the six of clubs, traditionally a card of movement, progress, completion in business or social matters, an opportunity to resolve a problem, take your responsibility for a problem or a situation and doing whatever necessary to ensure success, Con communication, sharing one's thoughts, ideas, negotiation, banter, talk, forms of communication, including hands, gesture, body language the media written word good counsel trusted advice knowledge reading studying and learning <sighs> so again um that goes back to me saying i feel like it might have been someone who went off to ever it's some type of off some some job overseas or some shit like that but anyway Let's get into love, you guys. Let's get into love. But I really do feel like it was a burden on somebody. Somebody that's a young grasshopper. Someone that's young. Trying to... They feel like they were living in a prison. Like in a moral prison. Or somebody that married. They feel burdened by their moral obligation. And they're going through some midlife crisis. And they just want to move away. Or they just up to move away. Okay, give me guidance for my singles and love. Thank you so much. Give me guidance. Ooh, what does it say? You are a badass. Act like it. Okay. It says you are giving your power away, singles. You are a badass. Act like it. It says fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. Ooh. Mm. And then it says put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. So this is what I'm getting. I feel like you guys went out on a date with someone and you were being rude because you were in your phone like the whole time, like instead of interacting with the person. And this is a female. No, this is a female and a male that's doing this um, because it's like you got options or something. And I really do feel like you need to apologize to whoever it is. Um... Like, you need to apologize because, number one, that's rude. And to some extent, okay, so that's one situation. And then also to this one that you're a badass, act like it. I really do feel like you guys are the ones that are kind of keeping yourself secluded and you're keeping yourself indoors. I want you to, like, come out a little bit. And I feel like you're kind of giving your power a little bit. Um, You're giving your power away to something where it's like, I don't, I just don't feel like whatever happened to you in the past, it's just, you just don't have no energy for dating and stuff like that. And I feel like that you need to put your phone down and just stop looking at people online and like dreaming and hoping and wishing about dating and shit like that. And it's fucking apologize. I feel like you need to do that to yourself for real, for real, because... You better than what you are acting like. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you really do need to get out and put the phone down and actually be more present in the outside life. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, oh, yes, let's go here. Let's get me some guidance with coming up in love for my Leo singles. Ooh. Okay, we got courtship. 
we got courtship okay and then we got main mail oh yes okay we got oh I feel okay so with this toil and labor okay toil and labor false person and then family room okay so hmm Hmm. Okay. So I feel like most definitely right now, you guys are dating or you guys are about to start dating. I feel like there's somebody in particular that's going to be coming at you pretty hard with this main male. Main male here. But I feel like it's something, it's something about this person Either this person works too hard or they work too far and you feel like it's something about this person is like always at work. They're always saying that they're at work and it's making you feel like that there's a false person or they got like a family somewhere. You know what I'm saying? That they're not telling you about. That they're not telling you about. And I just heard that's why the last time I seen him, I was in my phone and like you were kind of ignoring them because it was, oh, no, they are always in their phone. Like somebody is always in their phone or something about people are always in their phone. And I feel like. Put the fucking phone down. Let's get the tea. Let's get the tea. He he. You know me, me, me. Hold on. What's this doing in here? Uh-uh. Let's get the tea. He he, honey bunchkins. Give me the tizzle. Give me the tea, baby. What is going on with this? I feel like my singles are dating somebody. And that's why they saying you a badass. I like it. And if you were intentionally all up in your phone because you was trying to get back at this person because I feel like you don't believe this person keeps saying that they at work that they can't like this person keeps standing you up or something like that because they're like oh um, it's my kids or it's my job or something like that and like this the main person that you're dating and you're giving your energy to and you don't believe him you think it's something else and when you were around him the last time or something like that you was all in your phone I feel like to piss this person off or something like that but you needed apologizing to the two of cups in reverse okay this two of cups the two of cups in reverse you feel like it's unrequited because the four of pentacles in reverse. You feel like you can't. And what is this? The tower in reverse. <gasps> okay, so you realize off the break that this situation is unrequited because. I feel like you value yourself too much than to degrade yourself when you already know it's something going on. Look, you, you feel like it's something going on at work. Either this person is fucking with somebody at work or this person got a family somewhere that you don't know about or something. If there's a false person, like you know the energy. But whoever this person is that you're dating, that you're courting right now, I don't feel like it's that serious. And it's like, I'm just going to avoid this fucking tower. I'm going I'm to avoid. I'm going to avoid this shit. Because number one, I'm not about to sit here and stroke the, this person's ego like these other bitches do. Because I got too much. I got too much. You know what I'm saying? I have too much going for me than for me to sit there and devalue myself and fucking with the situation right here because like this low grade shit right here like this is this is someone that I'm just dating and we ain't even been fucking with each other all like that like that and I feel like it would be too much toil and labor for me to be putting all my energy into something like this and um 
the four of pentacles this can mean like a loss financially like you know what i'm saying they're releasing it because they realize that it would be a financial it will put it will put them in financial ruins do you understand it's not even something that is emotionally mutually benef beneficial for it's one-sided do you understand and they feel like there's a false person and somebody else there's something else going on here and they're not willing to it's like i'm a badass act like it i'm gonna fucking apologize to you and i'm gonna put the phone down and i'm gonna let you know how i'm feeling you know what i'm saying because okay that's a lie baby that's a lie hold on let me reach out for hold on give me guidance for my singles my leos let me guide Ooh, this says wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course Spirit is trying to tell you to wait, but the tower in reverse. I feel like everything, everything in the light is going to come out because everything is going to come falling. Everything is going to come falling out eventually. It says acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point of trying to change which is beyond our control. I feel like. I feel like if you just wait a second. Everything about this situation is going to be revealed to you. But at the same time. Don't stoop to this person's level by. Doing the same ignorant shit that they did to you. To get on your nerves. You know what I'm saying. By being on the phone and being sneaky and shit like that. Um, Because that's just being childish. I really do just want you to. If you want to let it go, let it go. You already said it's unrequited. Let's find out. Let me use this. Um, cause, cause now we do. We got use it with y'all. Let's see what the fuck this is. <laughs> Let's see what this is. Tell me what's going on in the thoughts and the mind of the person that Leo is dating. Oh, okay. Pop out like that. You're special to me, even though I told you otherwise. Oh. And then it says, I will come back for you. Yeah, I feel like this person definitely has a, a, a obligation that y'all didn't know about. It's not their job. It's not their job. Like this person has like a family or something like that that you don't know about. And I feel like they might have... Y'all excuse my um kids in the background, y'all. But um I definitely feel like this person has like an obligation somewhere else. This person has an obligation somewhere else, y'all. Let's let's um see what's going on with my couples. My goodness. Alright. Give me guidance for my couples. My couple. Let me add for my couples. This says, you're playing with fire. Ooh, check yourself. Ooh, that was a weather alert, honey. You're playing with fire. And that was the weather <laughs> channel al uh, uh, alerting me of a severe thunderstorm. Ooh, you are playing with fire. You better check yourself, couples. Whoa, wowzers. It says, you have logic for reason okay you have logic for a reason use it fuck feelings oh what the hell is going on with y'all oh ooh. it says love them anyway people are messy oh bitch what the fuck is going on with y'all hold the fuck on up now because now i'm intrigued I'm intrigued. No, hold the fuck on up. Couples, Leo, what is going on with them? Oh, holy. Well, hold up. Pop out. Let's see who it may be. Distant horizons. You're going to find out very soon. Occupation. Some about your job. Some about somebody at work. Marriage. You 
you're going to find out soon that the person that you fuck with at your job is married. That's why this person can't hold you in high honor like that. And you about to get... privileged lady you gonna find out very soon I, I feel like you gonna find out very very soon with this distant horizon it's going you gonna find out very very soon that this person that you've been working with that this person is married that this person is married and you might get the 21 gun salute you know what I'm saying because they have to carry yourself at high honor for this for this for this for this wife for this wife that kind of sounds like this over here too that kind of sounds like this over here too my goodness like i really do find out this y'all gonna find out very soon that this person is married and they have to carry themselves in high honor because they got this privileged lady at home like, you might just be just like a work wife or a work husband or some shit like that. Or you just might be the... Pri Ooh, shit. You just might be the privileged lady at work. What is this? The Five of Cups. Yeah. It's most definitely a third-party relationship. It's most definitely a third-party relationship. There's going to be some type of sadness and everything like that. Because I feel like this person was playing with fire. The five of cups, the six of cups, the three of swords. Oh, Lord Jesus, most definitely. I feel like you're going to find out very soon. And the, 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 the wife is going to find out about you because she might pop up at the job. She might pop up at this job, bro. Look, because I feel like already this person, this privileged lady, the one of high honor, she's looking. You see the, the windows, you know? I don't know. I feel like those windows, like, I, I really do feel like that she's been peering. Because I feel like she feels this. And this could be your supervisor, somebody that you've been fucking with, that you work for. This is somebody that you work for. This is someone that you work for. You work for. Or this is somebody that maybe the person that you're with, that the person that they're dealing with works for your husband or something like this. This has something to do with fucking work. Even high honor means work. All of that shit means work. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I want to kind of say that. Um, excuse me, you guys. I'm recording. Um, so I want to say that this five of cups, cause you see how he's trying to help her put her shoes on and all of this stuff like that. I feel like this is a type of person that they're like a flirt. Like, I feel like this is kind of a, a something that they've been dealing with for like a long time. I want to say like it's been... Like a childhood addiction or maybe like this is a childhood crush or something like that. Or maybe that the person that they're married with that they've been with for a long time since childhood. And I really feel like whoever the person is that the privileged lady is, is that the person that is the spouse, the one that they're married to. I really do feel like they're heartbroken and they're devastated because the person that is... The person on the receiving end the other woman, they're going to find out, the privileged lady's going to find out that this man be buying the girl stuff and, like, gives to this person emotionally, like, a lot, a lot. And I feel like it is going to be devastating or, if, or either the person that's the other woman's going to find out that either going to see pictures or something like that. That they've been with each other since childhood. And even though that they're fucking with you at work. 
this man loves his wife. You know what I'm saying? And you're just a work piece and this is the privileged lady and you want to see this because this woman is going to come pop up at the job because she's not stupid and whoever the fuck this is messing with her man, she's going to strut through there and just let you know like, um, tuh, honey, what is this? Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Wow. Ooh. It's most definitely like a work affair going on. Big time. I'm feeling that on both ends. What is this saying? Sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. I feel like whoever you've been cheating with, Leo, this person, like, when y'all had sex, like, whoever it is that you've been cheating with, like, when y'all had sex, it's, like, y'all sexual thing with each other is, like, I know the feeling. I just can't explain it with words, but I get it. It says, and you see how these two were like that? Like, y'all be deep in them. Ooh, it says trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform i feel like this is some this is someone in love with two people like this person has a wife at home and this person has a mistress at work um i don't necessarily think that this person is this person could like work in their building or some shit like that. Ding. Okay. All right. This person works in the building or somewhere around this person's job. But who? Now that she's making a lot more sense about this person, don't know how to close a chapter like. They had all these options and something attached itself to them that they really don't know what to do or take responsibility for. And they don't know how to tell the person that they've been in a relationship with that they've been out there in the streets fucking around with other people having other options and shit. And, they, and that's why they ain't been shit at home. Because they found something else at work. And that's why they've been focused on work like that. And this person could be fucking sick right now sick right now with that jack of hearts you know what I'm saying it says I need to go my own way for a while I told you this person is leaving I don't know if I'm cut out for this songs are speaking to me so I'm trying to tell you this person is like going through like a midlife crisis or something like this person might just get up and desert this marriage and just go on like a midlife crisis and and, and <laughs> Ooh, and play like they don't know how to. Progress is impossible without shock. The keynotes are the ones left unplayed. They feel like the best that they are is something that they haven't even done yet, something they haven't experienced yet. They need to be able to live in color and live outside of the box. And they don't want to be in this prison no more in this marriage. I definitely feel it's a divorce. Woo! Leo, this has been y'all free and boy, y'all hit that like button, man. If y'all need to holler at me, y'all make sure that y'all hit me up on Instagram. Send me a message and let me know. Woo! I love y'all. Peace.